Well, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the show. You are watching Zach's Picks of the Week, as always, here on a Music Monday with my top five recommendations coming up here on the show. And they are all from the website, Canadian Beats, as always. So you better go and check out the website because we have always got the best stuff coming out every day. Be sure to follow us on our social media platforms. They should all already be linked in the description down below. But if you don't know it already, it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even on TikTok as well. So be sure to go find all of that amazing content we've got posted on that website or any of those pages. And also be sure to go check out these artists that are coming up here on the show. It's a Monday. I'm starting to feel a little rough because I haven't had my coffee yet. And hopefully you are all ready for this and ready to tell your friends. Be sure to pull up uh, any of your favorite social media plat or streaming platforms and check out these new songs that I've got for you coming up. I knew this by now, but I, it, it always is rough every single week because, yeah, I am not a host. I am a host, but I'm not really, really host. I'm not I'm trying to think of another bald host that I know. Joe Rogan is the only one I can think of. It's really stupid. Joe Rogan experience. But hopefully you are watching it here for not just me. You're here for the content. And we've got to get it started here on Zach's Picks of the Week with number five. So I'm going to go make myself a cup of coffee and hopefully wake up. And hopefully you're ready for it because we're kicking it off here on a Music Monday. And it's already 11. So geez, I, I'm late to the game. Here we are. Check it out on number five. Zach's Picks of the Week. Hopefully you enjoy it, because it's a really good one, actually, in my opinion. I say that about all of them, but it's actually really true. Let's begin this week's list with Toronto-based punk rock band known for their anthematic, emotional, and rustic punk songs. It's Back Alley Gospel, and they have unveiled their debut single, Northbound, from their upcoming EP, Hold Up Your Head, which is set to be released later this year, but Northbound is actually available right now across all your favorite streaming platforms, and it serves as a wonderful introduction for the band's fast-paced punk rock songs that they are known for by their fans. We gave our honest opinion of the new single over on the website Canadian Beats, where we also have a quick interview with the band Back Alley Gospel that you should check out, link to the description down below of this video, but of course we are going to be coming up with a clip from the brand new video, which just came out on their YouTube channel I believe a couple days ago, so be sure to go and check it out, and of course go listen to the new single on all your favorite streaming platforms, including the new uh, article over on Canadian Beats. But right now this is going to be Back Alley Gospel with Northbound here on Zach's Picks of the Week at number 5, so please enjoy it and uh, check them out. Next in my brilliant list of new Canadian music this week is going to be another Toronto-based band, but this time cinematic rock band called Fifth Project. I believe is how you pronounce it, but they have unveiled their four-song EP, The Wolf, to all streaming platforms, but this is actually only the first of a trilogy of EPs that is coming out, first one being The Wolf, the next one is called The Owl in 2024, and the last one is to be announced called The Bee. So be sure to keep your eyes and ears out for those EPs when they come out, but their latest record the Wolf features two previous singles that were released and two brand new songs, one of which is called The Pace and it is the last track on the EP but it is also the longest, sitting at over 8 minutes long. Overall, this EP The Wolf is a neatly wrapped package of high energy experimental yet polished rock music which can appeal to fans of a variety of genres. So go do yourself a favor and check out our review for the brand new EP The Wolf from 5th Project that you can find now across all your favorite streaming platforms and of course link in the description down below to Canadian Beats, but here on Zach's Picks of the Week, we have got a clip from the song The Pace, which I'm only going to show you a small snippet of, because like I said, it is 8 minutes long, and I can't fit all that into the song, or into this video. So here it is, 25 seconds of the song The Pace, coming off of the brand new record The Wolf by 5th Project, here at number 4 on Zach's Picks of the Week, and I'm very sorry if I mispronounced your name as well. Now 
we have made it to the top three here for this week's episode of Zach's Picks of the Week, and that is going to include Ottawa-based artist Victa. And no, that's not Vecna, like the Stranger Things character. He's got a brand new single out now called Where Did You Go? And it's available across all streaming platforms, and it is a song about love, loss, and heartbreak. He's loved and lost before and isn't ready to let another one get away. Victor was working with video producer Francis Clan, aka Cleepy, along with Unknown Roz, and they helped him come up with the sexy, steamy, and provocative storyline in the new video. However, this up-and-coming singer-songwriter is definitely honing his craft together, and Where Did You Go is the next step in his journey. You can go follow his path and watch the new video for Where Did You Go over on the article Canadian Beats, link in the description down below for the brand new single from Victor, and he is coming up here at number three on Zach's Picks of the Week, everybody, so I hope you all enjoy him. And this is going to be the brand new song, Where Did You Go? Oh no, there you go again I don't know why you're lying to yourself, girl We were never just friends Oh, I'm too fly to hold you down But I hope that you stick around Cause I've been hurt before Where did you go? So it looks like we have now made it to the second to last recommendation of this week's list of brand new music, and that spot definitely is reserved for Toronto-based singer-songwriter Danny Horowitz, who has got a brand new single out now called Don't Look To Me. That song is of course available across all those streaming platforms that you're listening to your music on these days, but some breakups are mutual, some crush you, and some have you wishing that the other would just go away as fast as possible. The last kind was actually the inspiration behind the latest single for the first song from Horowitz's upcoming EP album, sorry. Oh, I'm gonna have a hard time pronouncing this one. I'm very sorry in advance. I believe it is pronounced Pharothyme, but I could be completely wrong. I'm very sorry about that, but I am very sure that you actually should go check out the brand new song over on the website Canadian Beats. Link the description down below to the article where we also interview Mr. Danny Horowitz as well. Link the description down below of this video, and of course on Zach's Picks of the Week, this is going to be it here at number two. It's going to be a clip from the song Don't Look to Me right here on Zach's Picks of the Week, everybody. Hope you enjoy it and go and check out that album when it comes out because I can't pronounce it and I'm very sorry, Mr. Horowitz. Then there was only one that could rule them all, or at least in this week's list of brand new Canadian music at least, and that last and final spot goes out to Surrey BC's very own Tyler Joe Miller and his new official music video for the song Back to Drinking Whiskey. That single was released last month via MDM Recording Incorporated and Universal Music Canada, but the video just came out, and I imagine I'm probably going to get copyrighted for showing this video by both of those people. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love you both. It was directed by the incredible Ryan Nolan, and throughout this video you actually see see Miller returning to his old vices at the bar while reminiscing on moments of love lost. You should go and enjoy the brand new video over on Canadian Beats, link the description down below, and you can also see a list of all the upcoming tour dates that Tyler Joe Miller is going to be heading out on. So go and check him out on one of those dates if you happen to get a chance, and also go check out a brand new single right now called Back to Drinking Whiskey right here on Zach's Picks of the Week at number one, and here is a clip from the video that most likely is not. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna get copyrighted, but I still love it, and that's why I still wanted to show it to you guys this week. So here it is at number one, Tyler Joe Miller, back to drinking whiskey. My ass on an old bar stool, down hammered at a quarter past two. It's way too sober, no, it's over, she don't miss me. Well, that's pretty much it for the show everybody hope you all enjoyed it this week here on zach's picks of the week finally got myself some coffee as well i'm feeling a lot better hopefully you are too with all this brand new music that you've just discovered and if you don't uh well you can go check out the rest of the website canadian beats because we got plenty more coming out every single day this week and even just this last week as well so you probably should go do yourself a favor go follow us on all of our social media platforms like facebook twitter instagram or even on tiktok as well Mine are also linked in the description down below of this video, so if you wouldn't mind, go and give me a follow as well. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Maybe I might even follow you back. Who knows? Can't promise it, but maybe I'll do that. 
I mean, it's not like you're having, I don't know, Dwayne Johnson following you or something. It's not that special, but, you know, it's me following you. So, I, I, that sounds kind of creepy in the same sense, but anyway, that's it. That's what I'm offering. Hopefully, you are checking out the rest of the website, Canadian Beats. But if you didn't, just check out my recommendations linked in the description down below of this video. And that's it for Zach's Picks of the Week. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next Music Monday. And have yourself a great week. Spread some love and positivity, I think, in the world, this world, or in all the worlds, any of the multiverse. And uh, <laughs> uh, it's Monday. We're doing weird shit. And uh, hopefully you are having a great day. See you all later. 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 Cheers. <laughs> Peace, love, and good music, everybody. Bye. Ah, oh, that's hot. Ah, oh, that's really hot.